Hey guys, Stephanie C. Harper, publisher of Career Magazine. It's Thursday, so you know it's Authorpreneur Thursday. This is the day of the week that's dedicated to the career of writing or the literary career. But I wanted to um, just kind of follow up on a couple of the posts that were put up on um, our social media pages today. I gave you guys two career tips today, and uh, they were both, of course, for my authors. And I talked about the first one. The first tip that I talked about was um, that writing a book is really no different than starting a business and how you must understand the key components of marketing and advertising, um, product packaging and distribution. And then I said, if you're not ready to run a business, then maybe you're not ready to write a book. Okay, I'm going to explain myself. I'm going to explain myself. That's why I said I'd follow up with a video. And uh, the second tip was um, deciding to publish a book means that you are ultimately taking on a business venture. Taking on a business venture means that you ultimately become an entrepreneur. However, self-publishing does not mean that you literally do it all yourself. And I wanted to um, really repeat those tips for those of you who um, did not have a chance to connect with us on our social media websites or who have not yet connected with us. Um, and I wanted to let you know that even though these were posted up on our social media websites, if I were to meet you today and ask you to join me on my social media websites, the first place that I would send you is to my website. And I want to talk to you guys, uh, my authors, about that. Of course, these are tips that go for, for um, entrepreneurs as well, but more so for the author because a lot of times the author views their book as a book and, and not a business. And so I want to help those aspiring authors or those people who are authors and are already doing it but have yet to get a website. So I want to tell you about two things that happened this week in publishing. One, I spoke with a gentleman and um, I was talking about supporting another author's product and he told me, you know what Stephanie, that's great. Um, I'd be even happier if you were reading my book. So what did I do? I clicked on his profile, went to his info tab and decided that I would do just that, that I would support his project, went to the info tab with the intent of clicking on his website and going out and purchasing his book. Well, lo and behold, there was no website. So I sent him an email and I said, hey, you know, I tried to support your project and couldn't find your email or couldn't find your website. So what is your website? He responds back, Amazon.com. All right, stick a pin there because I'm coming back to that. Scenario number two, there is a young lady, totally different author, totally different writing group who has a book cover that is just dynamite, absolutely love the book cover. Um, she also had some postcards printed, already printed, and uh, front of the postcard says Amazon.com. Yeah, back of the postcard says uh, Gmail.com. Now, you guys know I continue to tell you God bless the child that has their own. You guys remember that song? It came out probably 20 years ago. She said, God bless the child that's got its own. Okay, this is so very crucial. This is probably the biggest marketing mistake that I could ever see an author make. And the reason being is if you call any business, let me just throw some names out here. Um, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, uh, Victoria's Secret, IBM, Hewlett Packard, Career Magazine, if you call any of those businesses on the phone and say, what is your website? I bet you five million dollars they will not send you to anyone else's website to purchase their product. Let me repeat that. They will not send you to anyone else's website to purchase their product product. They will send you directly to their website. Now this is what some of your um, leading businesses in the industry do. 
then take note. Follow what they're doing. Now, there is no excuse with the age of technology, with the WordPress themes, with um, all these different ways. There's just no excuse today for any author not to have a website. I'm sorry, guys. You know, it is what it is. I'm not trying to be mean or step on any toes or any of that kind of stuff. But it's just, I'm, I don't want to, don't send me to Amazon. Period. If I ask you for your website, I want to go to your website. Now, I get it. I'm an author myself. I've published nine books, 22 kids, 15 uh, this, that. I, I've done it. So I get it. I understand how Amazon works. I understand that the more reviews you get, the um, more Amazon will market you, all of that. And I'm not telling you not to use Amazon. So please don't misunderstand this video. What I am telling you is that when you have your marketing materials printed, they need to come to your address. They need to go to your house. You wouldn't send anybody any valuable information and send it to your neighbor's house. If you were expecting something valuable, you would want it to come directly to your house. So here's what I need for you guys to do. I need you to log on to GoDaddy or one-on-one -on -one or whoever, whatever site you use, and I need you to get your domain. I'm talking $10, $12, $13 a year to have your own domain. If you don't know what a domain is, it's that www.yournameshouldberightthere.com, okay? That's going to cost you $10, $12 a year. You can also get hosting. You can get hosting for your website for as little. I think um, I pay, mm, I want to say $80 a year, something like that. But for $80 a year, I have the Lunix hosting account with GoDaddy. And I have all seven of my websites, along with two of my husband's websites, all under that one account for $80 a year. So you can't tell me that this is impossible, that this is not in your price range, yada, yada, yada. I don't want to hear it. Or I have to go back to what I said in my tip. If you're not ready to run a business, then you're not ready to write a book. And I'm saying that because you have to understand books are a business. Yes, I wrote the kit, but not because I wanted to um, try to try. What? Well, forget all that. Just, just don't send me to Amazon, okay? Don't send me to Amazon. The other piece of it is when you look at publishing. Publishing is the only business where we send our we send out to come back in. And what I mean by that is I only see authors using these free websites, Weebly, Wix, um, uh, webs.com, blah, blah. I mean, I see it with businesses too, but I see it primarily with authors because they're always looking for the freebie. Well, if you're going to be in business, sweetheart, sir, madam, you're going to have to spend some money. OK, you don't have to go out and get a gigantic website with tons of bells and whistles, but you do need a website. If you're looking for, you know, a simple website, go out and view um, booksourbusiness.com or why should I hire you.com. I'm not telling you that because I want you to purchase the product. I'm telling you that because you can see that you can have a very effective book related product related website that's very simply done. I think we paid something like um, $200 to have those websites done. They're just one-page sites, but they give you everything you need to find out about the book, read about the book, and order the book. That's really all you need, especially if it's your first project. So again, I want to tell you, do not send me to Amazon, okay? So God bless the child that has its own. I want to see your website, yours, 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 and I want to go anywhere else to purchase your product. All right. Now I'm Stephanie Harper with Career Magazine. Don't send me to Amazon. Just telling you, don't send me <laughs> to Amazon. All right, guys, we'll talk soon. Bye now.